Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden. Welcome to my channel. In this video today, I want to talk to you about how to date Western women. Now, listen, first thing I want to say is this don't argue with me in the comment section, okay? I'm neither against or for the passport bro movement. Don't involve me in any politics because I don't give a shit. You're a man. This is my disclaimer, guys. You're a man. You do whatever you want to do. If you want to be a passport bro, be a passport bro. If you want to travel to third world countries and meet beautiful women there, go ahead and do it. I'm not your daddy. You, you like, I'm pro-choice. Okay, I'm pro-choice. If you're a man, you make your own choice. You can date Western women. You can go to third world countries. You can do whatever you want to do. You can travel to Mexico and meet women there. You can go to Brazil. You can go to uh, the Philippines. You can do whatever you want to do. Like, that's not my choice to make. However, in this video today, if you want to date Western women, this video is going to be amazing for you because I'm here on the streets of Europe. I live in the West. When I, when I see a girl walk by me on the street, or I go to a bar, and I go, or I go to a club, I don't give a shit about her origin or her nationality. If I find her attractive, I find her attractive. Uh, if she's American, I don't care. If I like the girl, if I find her attractive, I will go with her or be with her. If she's Canadian or French or German or Swedish or whatever, doesn't matter. I literally don't give a shit. And a lot of guys also, they comment, you know, on my channel, they say, well, why aren't you uh, more with uh, black women? You know, they say, oh, we always see you with all these white girls. I'm also with black women, but it just, it's, this never gets filmed, okay? It just never gets filmed. I enjoy Asian women. I enjoy uh, white women. I enjoy black women. I enjoy, if the chick is hot for me, if she's attractive for me, she's attractive. As simple as that. Now, I want to talk to you very straightforwardly on how to change your mentality so that you can get Western women. Now, the thing that I want to point out, the most important thing in this video today is this. If you go to a third world country or a country that is, uh, uh, you know, very different from the West, let's say Brazil, or let's say Mexico, or Argentina, or Latin America, uh, or the Philippines. I have friends of mine that travel every single day. Every single day of the year. Hey, how are you? Are you? you good? good? I'm fine. Say hello. 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 I have friends of mine that travel to Arabic countries everywhere. Okay? And especially the guys that go to Latin America, and the guys that go to um, Brazil, and the guys that go to Philippines, they text me every single day. They always tell me that they're sleeping with new women all the time. Okay? If you go to many of these countries, what's very common is if you walk through Brazil, let's say you're in Brazil, and you take a phone number or an Instagram from a girl over here, and another one from a girl over there, and another one from a girl over here, and you're just walking around, you're collecting phone numbers, a lot of those girls will come on dates. And a lot of those girls will meet you. And a lot of those girls will invest at least to see you once. Okay? At least to see you once. Okay? However, here in the West, and this is what you have to come to understand. Here in the West, my friends, a lot of these phone numbers, a lot of these Instagrams, they're not going to go anywhere. And it's because of just the amount of options that the women have. Okay? And, you know, in between Tinder and Bumble and fucking all these dating apps that I can't even name. And then also the, 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 the guys that she meets at work and fucking school and clubs and nightclubs and parties. Also here in the West, um, it's like you have to play hard to get. The chicks always think that they have to play hard to get. It's like cool 
to be hard to get in the West. You know what I mean? So they're also playing games. Um, so they have a lot of options and they're playing games. And even if she's busy in the West, many women, even, you know, like, sorry, even if she's not busy, many women in the West, they will say that they're busy just to see your reaction. And in the West, uh, it can be a lot more difficult to get that first date, second date, third date, whatever it is, right? And so the mentality that I have, whenever I'm in a Western country, I'm right now in Europe. If I go to America, if I go to Canada, if I go to France, if I go to, uh, if I go to Sweden, if I go to a traditionally Western country, I don't care about phone numbers and I don't care about Instagrams, okay? I optimize my entire game around what I can do in the moment. And this is where all of you guys fuck up. All of you guys are trying to get, you're in the West, you're trying to take phone numbers, you're trying to take Instagrams, you're trying to get dates. Primarily, me, I'm trying to, to, to go as far as possible uh, as I can with a woman as soon as I meet her. So today is Friday, my friends, okay? G g give you a real example. Today is Friday, I'm walking around the streets, I'm making this video for you guys. But this video is not gonna be 10 hours long. There's gonna be a point in time where I will shut the video off, get a coffee, and start talking to girls that are all walking around, everywhere. And I'm looking to find a beautiful girl that's available, and uh, I'm looking to take her out tonight, now, 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 today. I am focused on today, today, right now. Because I know, as soon as we get into that stage where I have her phone number, and she has my phone number, or I have her Instagram, and she has my Instagram, now I'm in direct competition with all of these other options, all of these other men, all of this, you know, and at the same time, she has to play hard to get, and she's busy, and blah, 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 blah. So, I already know that. And so when I, when I meet a girl in the moment, I'm trying to go as far as possible. I'm trying to go all the way today, today. And I insist. So when I meet a girl, I make it fun and I make it, I, I, I make it enjoyable for her. I suggest, hey, let's go to this new bar over there. Let's go to this new club over there. Let's go have drinks here. Let's go check out this area. And it's here that you have to, you know, be flirty and be fun and create like an interesting atmosphere. And then from there, from that interesting atmosphere, I, I, I lead her back to my house. Okay, I suggest fun things to do. Oh, oh. stay up on earth, that's cool. I, uh, I suggest fun things to do in my house. Because I know all of these numbers and Instagrams and all of this shit in the West, most of it won't lead anywhere. It won't go anywhere. N nowhere, nowhere. And it has nothing to do with you, and it has everything to do with the situation that we find ourselves in now here in the current state of the dating market. And so for me, the majority of the girls that I end up sleeping with are from the moment, straight away. I, I walk around like this on a Friday night. Now it's around, uh, what time is it? It's around uh, seven o'clock. And I meet a chick that's beautiful and available. I'm like, let's go for drinks right now. Let's go right now. Or I go to the club, I go to the party, and I meet a girl tonight, now, 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 now. And I make it happen now. Then we change phone numbers. Then we change Instagrams. And then I start to date them. Does that make sense? Now, it's not always possible to go all the way. It's not always possible to go all the way then you have to take a phone number or you have to take an Instagram. But I don't take those phone numbers or Instagrams that seriously. Many of you guys, that's all you're doing. You're just walking around collecting phone numbers, collecting Instagrams. You're just trying to, you know, uh, meet the girls, talk for five minutes and then get some sort of date. I just do it reverse. I try to have something with them right now and if that doesn't work, then I will do the date, okay? 
And many times, if you're honest with yourself, you're just walking around doing nothing or you're actually free, why don't you ask her for a drink right now? Why don't you ask her to have a coffee with you right now? Why don't you try to invite her to your house today? Today, okay, when, you, when you're actually spending time and some hours have passed, why don't you ask her today, 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 today? Why are you stuck in tomorrow? Everything is tomorrow, 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 the future. Oh, give me your phone number. Let me text you. Let me, oh, let's find the day to meet. And you wonder why you're not special. You wonder why you're not special. You're just like every other guy. Every other guy is trying to take a phone number, trying to take an Instagram and trying to find a time in the week, in the schedule to go on a date. Every guy does that. Every guy does that. And so if you're trying to go all the way today, then you become more unique. Now, even if you don't succeed, let's say I meet a girl right now and she agrees to come with me for a, for a coffee. And we spend an hour and a half talking, having coffee together. And I invite her to come, you know, check out my rooftop or something like that, right? To split a wine bottle in my place or whatever it is, right? And she goes, I would love to, but I can't. I'm really sorry, another day. And then I take her phone number and then I take her Instagram. She's a hundred times more likely to answer, a hundred times. That situation is a hundred times more likely to actually lead somewhere. So it's not even about succeeding in having sex right now or getting her in bed tonight. It's about creating a situation and an atmosphere where you can spend some time together. Now again, don't underestimate. There are so many women, like again, the, I've had sex with hundreds of women and the majority, the majority, the overwhelming majority come from right now from the moment, like I'll meet a girl, we'll have a couple of drinks today, from the street today or from the bar today. And we go to my house today, today. So don't underestimate how much, um, how far uh, a girl's willing to go on the first time. Don't underestimate it because many of them are willing to go all the way. If you're charming, if you're cool and you guys got the right chemistry, it's, it's possible, okay? And I'm a living testament of that. Now, again, one last time, I'll say this one more time. If you don't get it on the same day, but you end up hanging out for a long time, now, if she doesn't answer your messages, now, if you don't get like a repeat situation where you can go on a date again, then you can assume that she's not interested. Because you did everything you could do. You took her on a long date. You took her from the street here, you know, or you met her somewhere and you, you explored her in the moment, okay? You, you went for drinks, you got to know each other, you got to talk about things. And now if it doesn't lead anywhere, now you don't have to wonder, you know? Now you're like, okay, but we did, we already went on a date, okay? You met her, you went on a date immediately and she's not returning your phone calls or your messages or she's not like accepting a second date or she's like being busy all the time. My friend, she's not that interested, okay? It's, it's, it's a, so when you go further, it makes things more simple for you because when you do end up going further with girls and it doesn't you know, lead to sleeping with her the same night but you ended up spending a significant night, a significant portion of the evening or the night together, and now you're trying to get that second date. Well, if she doesn't come, she's just not interested. She already was on a date with you. She already had drinks with you. She already met you. She already talked to you. She already got to know you. Okay, now you can, it's very safe to assume she's not interested. So simple. But if you get a girl's phone number after five minutes of speaking, three minutes of speaking, two minutes of speaking, seven minutes of speaking, and now she's busy, she's giving excuses, uh, she can't find the right time, Many of those girls are still interested, actually. And they would like to meet you, but you're not like a high priority for them, if that makes sense. And so you cut out so much of the bullshit by just being straightforward and trying right now. And so if I travel to the East, okay? If I go to Brazil or Mexico or Argentina, 
I will just get, I will just collect all the phone numbers. I'll take a phone number from her, 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 her. I'm, I'm not gonna spend too much time with some one girl, you know? I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna take all their phone numbers and I'm gonna ask all of them out. And, and that's because when you go to these places, Brazil, Argentina, Philippines, whatever, girls do come on date, come, come out on dates. And, 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 and almost every guy I know that travels, that goes to all these places, are getting dates frequently, frequently. Just off of phone numbers, just off of grabbing Instagrams and parties and shit like that. And so it just, it just, it just works better abroad, okay? However, if you live in the West, you must reverse the game. And you must try all the way now and then take the phone number if it didn't work. And if you can spend six months doing this, 12 months doing this, two years doing this, three years doing this, five years doing this, six years doing this, nine years doing this, that's how you get really incredible results with women. That's, that's literally it. That's literally it. That's what I do all the time. And guys always ask me, how do you land this girlfriend? Or how do you get this? Or how do you do that? It's because of this mentality, this mind hack that I'm giving you today, this way of, of, of actually meeting women. Now that's all I wanted to say in this video today. If you like this video, like the goddamn video, comment down below, subscribe, and I see y'all, my brothers, in the next one. Peace.